All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, third time trying to do this video. Um, Santa Cruz in California, or as we like to call it, California. You have to now wear masks indoors. And in fact, you have to wear them in your own home even. So, we'll get to that. Um, obviously, this is not just going to be about California or Santa Cruz. Uh, we are going to talk about this seeming problem that we have with uh, with these vaccinations, right? Every The reason why we're talking about this is because everybody ran out and got vaxxed. Well, most people. Most people ran out and got vaxxed. And they got it because, at the end of the day, they were promised they could go back to normality. They were going to go back to normal. Have a normal life again. Well, the problem is, is that you now have to wear a mask in your own home in Santa Cruz, California, if you have a visitor from a different household. So a surge in coronavirus cases has been reported in the Bay Area across California, as well as the country, due to the part of the emergency lifting high contagious Delta variant. Right? Here it is here. So 23rd, uh, so a US has reported increase in the pandemic Nova cases Nearby, blah, 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 blah. Uh, mask indoor, here it is here, sorry. Mask indoor in effect. Mask mandate is now in effect in Santa Cruz County uh, and will co covers private settings like your home. If you're getting together with others who don't live in the same household, or ca uh, same household, the county says you should mask up regardless of the vaccination status. So even if you went out and got your double jab and your booster shot, you still now have to wear a mask. Now, obviously, at the end of the day, Santa Cruz here, uh, one dose is 73%, fully vaccinated is 68%. So they're about the 70% mark almost for fully vaccinated for Santa Cruz. So at the end of the day, it's not the best, but it's Far, far not the worst either, right? But And don't worry, obviously, in Australia, we can't talk about this either. Actually, we're going to need some music. Let's play some music while we're, while we're talking about this. So, in Australia, forcibly throws COVID-exposed citizens in quarantine camps. The Australian Prime Minister has deployed 82 Australian Defence Force soldiers and serving army trucks to the region. Two Northern Territory communities in Australia, Binjara and Rockhole, have imposed strict lockdowns after nine new positivity, uh, positive COVID cases were registered. The military has been called in to bring positive cases and close contacts to a quarantine centre. So you don't have to just have COVID, even a close contact now lands you in COVID centres. You know those COVID camps that they were building that were nowhere near going to be used for forcibly detaining people. Oh. On Sunday, Chef Minister of the Northern Territory, Michael Gunner, said that a 78-year-old year old woman was treated by the Royal Darwin Hospital. The area remains eight cases, uh, 38 blood, blah, blah, blah. Hunt down the unvaccinated. Health workers have begun knocking on people's door to boost vaccination rates in the communities, where Gunner moans the rates were much lower than 70%. In the past 24 hours, the government successfully pressured 29 people. <laughs> pressured is right. Pressured 29 people to get jabbed in the rock hole, with 27 receiving their first injection. But here's the interesting. Why is Africa less than 6% of people vaccinated and least affected by COVID-19? Um... Yeah. Some regions say low rates of, uh, of open mission, uh, genetic reasons or exposure to other diseases may have spread the containment than more lethal effects of the virus so far. 
So basically, Africa has 6% vaccination rate and is least affected by COVID. We probably shouldn't touch this one with a 10-foot bar. <laughs> Obviously, at the end of the day, the reason is, is because Africa gives out anti-malaria drugs like candy. They give out things like ivermectin and stuff like that. So guess what? Ivermectin, vitamin D, people being outside, probably better diets. They're not eating McDonald's, for God's sake. So at the end of the day, that's why they have a better rate. But, yeah. I think Luke Wadowski has summed this up. I got my first jab. I got my second jab. I got my booster. Test the positive for COVID. <laughs> it's, it really, really is clown world, isn't it? All these people that have rushed out to get vaccinated, to get... To get the jab. So they can have a semblance of a normal life. And they're still getting locked in their homes. They're still having to wear masks. It's like you can't comply your way out of tyranny. Who, who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought this is how it's going to go? Oh wait, hang on. We all did, right? We, we tried to warn people. This is how it's going to work. You, you don't... People are so thick. They are really so thick. It, it really boggles the brain that people actually believe this crap. Get your shots. You can go back to a normal life. Get your shots. We need that. Where's, my, where's that music? Come on. I need my music again. Hang on. It, like, people literally thought that we're getting the jabs would allow them to be somewhat of a normal life. We just have to, just have to comply with daddy government. Well, daddy government fills you up full of drugs. Comply and, and it'll be alright. You'll be able to get back your normal life, they said. Two weeks to flatten the curve. Two weeks to stop the spread. Just need to wear masks for three days. Well, we're going to extend the mask from three days to two weeks. Eight months later, places in Australia were still wearing masks. And now the, the line is, get your jabs, get your vaccinations. Because you can have a free life. And people are falling for it. Fucking hell. How's that? How's that going for you, San Francisco? California? How's Florida going right now? Some of the lowest rates in the US are from Florida. Texas seems to be doing fine. Obviously it's not the best, but I think it's one of the best ones. No masks, no jabs, no mandates. Well, you can get a jab if you want it, but it's not mandated. Either of those two places. They seem to be doing fine! Although these democratic grand cities... <laughs> oh. I, I really, I really don't know how to spell it out to people. I really don't. Israel is some of the best vaccinated in the world. And they're fighting and uh, uh, fighting COVID and they're, they're talking about maybe going into lockdowns again. I think it was Bahan or something like that, 100% vaccination rate. 
100% vaccinated in the world. Double jabbed. And they have to go back into lockdowns again. Oh. I think it's time I brought an island. What do you guys think? <laughs> just and before we go, but just just to just to give everybody a bit of a laugh while we're at it. We're gonna watch a video from the Australian from the Australian protests. This was gonna be its own thing, but to be honest, we just We just need to, to have a laugh. Alright, we just need a bit of a laugh. Because there are a bunch It's the same song. It's, it's still King of the Mountain, I think it's called. Um Hall of the Mountain King. But Parks But here is Here's this lovely wonder of Australia. I wonder she doesn't have fucking diabetes, but anyway. Here is so what happened was, just for lols, just to give you the recap, we had a whole bunch of people marching in Melbourne for protests. I think I actually covered it yesterday, I think. And a whole bunch of them were, were protesting and, and demanding freedoms. And, and Antifa, Antifa thought this was wrong. So Antifa turned up to protest the protesters who want freedom. Yeah, I, I, I can't explain that one either, but regardless. So, this this is the, the counter-protester. Comrades, today we're here because there are... <laughs> she literally called them comrades. Oh, well, oh boy. By the way, this is the protest here. So, this is the the protest for, for, the, uh, for freedoms versus the fat little thing that wants to lock everybody up. A bunch of fascists and Nazis in Hyde Park supposedly um, protesting Communist. in favour of freedom. Freedoms. Freedom. Now these people want to talk about freedom. freedom. But the only freedom they're interested in is freedom for them and people who are like them. We're here today to say no to that. And to say that workers, young people, students, women, disabled people, LGBTQI people and people of colour stand in solidarity against that. When people have had not had been when people have not been kept safe from the virus by their governments. <laughs> when people have not been kept safe by the government from the virus. Oh, these are supposed to be anarchists. This is this is your this is your Black Lives, your Antifa, your anti-fascist people, right? Supposedly against. Fascism, literally making the case for you to be kept safe from a virus by your government. Huh? What? 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 Let's just keep going. When people have been forced to go to work in extremely dangerous conditions, when people have been economically suffering because the government will not give them the money they need to stay home in a deadly pandemic, some people will turn to the dark side and some people will turn to those nuts. Rami a fellow. He does an amazing job with his video editing and this is just mwah. 
So while what you have there is her, this anti-fascist fascist, giving a lecture on how the government has to keep you safe from the virus and, and how people are turning to the dark side. I am your father. And at the end of the day, she's just, she's literally trying to advocate for fascism and authoritarianism while claiming the people that they're protesting are dangerous because they want freedoms. <laughs> you can't make this up. That's Antifa for you these days. Antifa is literally siding with the government, claiming to be anti-fascist. Okay, whatever. Um, and then it's just a shot of all the diverse people that turned up to New South Wales and and literally protested. And it's it's literally just everybody of every different walk of life literally protesting, saying they want freedoms. And these are supposedly the nuts, the, you know, the, the, the bad German people. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Right, Antifa. Um, but like I say, look at the end of the day, it's... I'm sorry, you've just got to sit there and laugh about this. This, this, this whole world is just crazy. It, it, I, I seriously wonder if it's driving me insane. I really, really do wonder. You just, you got to sit there and laugh. People are getting double jab, triple jab. Next, they'll be getting another booster shot. Still getting locked in their homes. <laughs> Here's me, going to work, coming home, playing Star Citizen, banging a 26-year-old on the side, not vaccinated, don't have a care in the world, sitting here having a fucking laugh about this whole shitstorm. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you got to feel sorry for the people that got duped, right? you really got to feel sorry for them. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.